What if we did a Champions League with every single champion in Europe? Bar Cyprus. I'm so sorry if you're from Cyprus. Yo, do you play FIFA 22? Yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of- You're saying that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> then go to usurvive.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISA at checkout to get a discount. In today's video, we have got a 64 team Champions League from every single possible country in Europe other than Cyprus. I'm so sorry if you're Cypriot. We've got a good amount of representation in the top seven in England, the top seven in Spain, the top six in France, the top six from Italy, top six from Germany, going all the way down to the likes of Greece, Norway, Denmark, Austria, Sweden, Scotland, Ireland, Czech Republic. We've got every single team that makes sense to be here. The one team that's not in here is Arsenal because they weren't even in any European competition in real life. So it makes no sense to put them in it. They finished eighth in the Premier League. So I'm not going to force them in it just because, you know, it's Arsenal, right? Because it makes no sense. So top seven for the main two you know, coefficients is Spain and England. Then it goes like Germany, Italy, then Portugal, then um, the likes of France. I'll go step by step here of each team so that people will fully know who's in this video. If you guys do enjoy, smash a like button and also subscribe if you're new. And tell me what more simulations and experiments do you want me to do next? Because I, I like doing these videos. I think they do well. You guys seem to enjoy it. And I was thinking, yeah, I could do a video of me doing like a a 500 team like tournament so have like every league in the world or like at least every league in in europe so have like you know league two league one teams in there you know facing like the entire romanian division and like tick off the best teams in each like of these individual tournaments and then put them in like a super tournament that may take a lot longer but if you do want that i can do that so tell me down below and also thank you very much for the love of channel in recent weeks let's get stuck in into the teams as someone will have a go at me saying that, no, oh, this guy is, this team's not in there. Why is this team in there? I've done the top, like, five, the top four, the top three, the top six in every division. So I've not just picked and choose, okay, the teams. It's just based on what they finished in in last year's season. I've just got spot at Moscow. I was kind of, like, confused of the fact that, like, I didn't know if I should really put in Russia. Then I realized I don't think it really matters if I put a Russian team in a FIFA simulation. Like, uh, is the police going to arrest me or something? I, I highly doubt it. Someone will complain, but, hey, I've got two Ukrainian teams in there. So, I've got two Ukrainian teams. I've got, I got um, two from Switzerland. i got, I think, two from Belgium. I'm going to go and select every single team. It will be a group stage of eight teams. Top four qualifiers. You'll see later soon. The group stage is home and away because I know that on this game, if you're the home team that you gain an advantage. So to try to avoid that, your circumstance, I've made it so the group stage is home and away. Just like the real Champions League, of course, play home and away. So that it may take a bit longer, but it's to make sure it's much more fair. Okay, so we are here now at the group stage draw. So to make it fair, I will try and do it in a way of how the actual UCL is done. So I will randomize it five times. So one, two, three four, five, it's all randomized. Now I will quickly scroll through and see if there is any technicality. So therefore, is there gonna be more than two teams from the same country? From England, from France, from Germany, from Spain, and from Italy. Because there's um, like five, six, seven teams from each individual country. So basically try to make it the most balanced and most fairest way possible. So I will go and scroll through and, and I'll see you for the four groups. So here we go now into the group stages. So of course there is six different groups, eight teams in each group and the top four qualify. So let's go step by step here. So group A, we've got Bromby, Man City, Wolfsburg, Benfica, Fenerbahce, Lille, Dynamo Kiev and AC Milan there. So City is the main team there. But really, it's a fair even game for who could be in the top four. Other than City, you can imagine Milan could be in there, but maybe not Benfica. Maybe a Lille? There could be some surprises here, actually. Group B will be Liverpool, Genk, RB Salzburg, Braga, Marseille, Spurs, PSV, and Galatasaray. So we've got Liverpool and Spurs in the same group. You can have two of the same countries for the main top five in the same group there. Other than Liverpool... 
it seems like it's fairly even. That could be, I guess you may say Spurs should be going in there, but it's Spurs. Okay, nothing's guaranteed here, lads. So, again, another great group there. Group C being Villarreal, Chelsea, Malmo, Kluge, Rangers, um, Ferran Cavozzi, Roma, and also Borussia Dortmund. So, some more bigger name teams in there that you may think should be going through, like Villarreal, Chelsea with Dortmund, and also Roma. That could be the obvious four. But don't be surprised if we see the likes of Roma or Dortmund not make it through, like Rangers maybe sneak through, maybe even a Malmo, you never know. Group D being Leverkusen, West Ham, Lazio, Sevilla, Michelin, Stade Rene, Dan Danimo Zorgov, and also Real Madrid. Again, got the big names of Remington and also Sevilla, but again, other than that, Leverkusen should be in there, West Ham, Stade Rene, Lazio, good battle in this group, actually. Group E being Olympiacos, Ajax, Barcelona, Frankfurt, Napoli, Monaco, Manchester United and also Atalanta. This is probably without doubt the group of death here. Yeah, this is a group of death. I've randomized this completely. It's don't look at me. I'm so sorry if you're a Man U fan. Don't look at me. But you may not make it through the group stage. I'm just saying, it's possible, right? Group F being Inter, Real Betis, Besiktas, um, Bordeaux Glimt, FC Porto, Leipzig, Celtic, and Slavia Prague. Quite a um, a favourable group. Inter and Porto and Leipzig are the main teams you think of. But they're not too strong that you, you can't imagine a Real Betis. So maybe even a Celtic or Besiktas getting like your one over them. Group G, Young Boys, Bayern Munich, Atletico Madrid. Oh my god. Oh my good lord. Bayern Munich, Atletico, Shamrock Rovers, Legia Fashava, Club Brugge, PSG, and Leicester City. I'm so sorry. I mean, really, it's a battle between Leicester, Club Brugge. Leicester should really be hoping to claim that fourth spot. And then last group, Group H, Lyon, Sporting Lisbon, Real Sociedad, AZ Alkmaar, Basel, Spartak Moscow, Juventus, and also Shakhtar Donetsk. This is a very open group, other than Juventus anyone could really make it through here and there you go those are the groups two matches each group home and away so we'll be having 14 games being played in the group stage to see how we do and i'll see you then okay so after 18 hours later the group stage is finally done so in group a it goes like this wolfsburg a top of the group beats me i don't know how that's happened here city they made it through Kind of squeezed through, not gonna lie. Like, they weren't that comfortable. Milan's through, Benfica, but Lille, Fenerbahce, Bromby, and Denimo Kiev are sent packing. Group B being Spurs, Liverpool, PSV, and Marseille. Genk, Salzburg, Braga, and Galatasaray are going home. Probably quite predictable. I mean, other than the fact that Spurs has gone, you know, unbeaten. That's quite of a surprise, but other than that, seems quite even. Group C being Chelsea, Villarreal, Roma, and Dortmund. Rangers, one point of making it through to the next round. They couldn't do it, and that means that they are going home. Real Madrid, Leverkusen, Sevilla, and West Ham. West Ham have made it through, and Lazio, Michelin, Stade Rene, doing very bad. Group E being Barca, Man United, Atalanta and also Monaco. This is a very, very hard group. This is a group of death here. That means that Napoli, Frankfurt, Olympiacos, and Ajax are going home. Ajax, bottom of the group. Group F being Inter, Porto, Real Betis, and Leipzig going through. Leipzig making it through. At the halfway stage, they were doing really poorly, but they turn up in the end. And Slavia Prague, Masita, Celtic, and Bordeaux Clips are going home. So, Group G. Okay, no. Oh, no! PSG, Atletico, Bayern, and Club Brugge. Leicester City are knocked out by 10 points. Shamrock Rovers with 10 points ahead of Lega for Shava and also Young Boys. Fair play to... Fair play. Last group, Real Sociedad, Juventus, Sporting Lisbon, also Shakhtar, Donetsk, with Sportet, Moscow, and Lyon. Lyon is knocked out, and there you go. That is the end of the group stage. These are the teams. Any big matchups here? Um, Atletico, I've got West Ham. Madrid has got Atalanta. Leverkusen beat Dortmund. United versus Leipzig. Okay. Any. Oh, that's a big one. Chelsea versus Manchester City. One of them has to be knocked out. That's a big team knocked out out of these two. Okay. So I've gone through the round of 32 here. And let's see what happens. So between. Bayern Munich and Wolfsburg. Bayern Munich went through. Between West Ham and Atletico. West Ham lost 6-1 on Angry. Okay, no surprises there. 
Atalanta v Real Madrid, 5-2 to Real Madrid. Dortmund v Leverkusen, Dortmund has gone through. Barca v Sporting Lisbon, Barca went through. Oh, okay, there's, there's the away goal rule. That's interesting. Marseille went through on away goals against AC Milan. Inter knocking out Sevilla. Juventus knocking out Club Brugge. PSG knocking out PSV. Manchester United knocking out Leipzig. I mean, po probably surprised there. Real Sociedad getting knocked out by Real Batis, even though they made a good comeback in second leg. Liverpool knocking out Shakhtar Donetsk. And then Manchester City knocking out Chelsea on away goals. I don't know why the away goals is here. It's FIFA. I can't really make the rules of this. Like, so that's just what's happened here. Villarreal knocking out Benfica. Spurs knocking out Roma. Spurs are in the round of 16 here, boys. And Porto are through to next round. So here we go into the round of 16. The fixtures will be Bayern Munich versus Atletico Madrid. Real Madrid versus Dortmund. Barcelona versus Marseille. Inter versus Juventus. PSG versus Manchester United. Big game that. Real Betis beat Liverpool. Man City beat Villarreal. And Spurs versus Porto. We could get Spurs in a Champions League quarter final here, boys, of the ultimate Champions League here. Okay. Okay. I mean, PSG beat Man U would be a big one. And it could be an upset. We're going to start seeing some more games here. So, Bayern Munich versus Atleti. It will be in the first leg. A 1-1 draw going into the second leg. That, of course, away goals is a factor. So, now we're in the quarters. I will now be showing much more of the games here. So, Madrid beat Dortmund. It will be a 1-0 win for Madrid in the 78th minute right there. Okay. This should be a Barca win. And it's not. It's a draw. 2-2. Two -two. Okay. An Italian affair. And it's a nil-nil draw. Okay, all these games seem fairly even so far. Like, there's not much really going on here. It is a big one. Currently, it's Tarimi at FC Porto, which is a top goal scorer. I just realized that just there. Here we go. PSG versus United. And we have got Manchester United beating PSG. And part of the Princes. Part of the Princes. Stade de France. I don't know anymore. That is an interesting one right there. Real Betis versus Liverpool. It should be Liverpool, surely. It should be. And it, it is. Okay, no surprises there. Man City should have this. But 2-1, uh, you know, away goals could be a, a factor here. Spurs, they beat Porto 2-1. Okay, now it's your time. Okay, Atleti or Bayern. And it will be Bayern Munich going through into the quarter finals. Dortmund beat Real Madrid. Could be a mad comeback. Can Haaland do it? Oh, almost, almost. Real Madrid, they got that goal. Marseille beat Barca. 2-2 two, two in first leg. Two away goals. That is huge. All they have to do is just pretty much just draw the game. And he can't do that. And Barcelona are through to the next round. Juventus beat Inter. Who's going to do it? It's Inter. They've got the away goal. United beat PSG. Can PSG make a comeback here? Oh, my God, they did. Oh, my God. Oh, United, you just had to just get a draw. They did the hard part. Under Herrera has scored against United. Ronaldo beat Messi. And Ander Herrera is the hero. Uh, Liverpool beat Real Batiste. That should be pretty simple. I mean, a draw, but they've got the hard part done, right? Have beat Porto 2-1 as well. So that means that Spurs are in a Champions League quarterfinal. But the Real versus Man City here. Uh, I mean, a comeback could be on. If they just win one over the round, maybe. That's nah, too much to ask for here, man. Man City, 2-1. And that is that done. We are now in the quarter finals. And it stands like this. Bayern Munich v Real Madrid. Barca v Inter. PSG v Liverpool. Man City v Spurs. Of the 64-team Champions League. It looks like how it always looks, which is kind of, you know, it's it's kind of expected, isn't it? Sadly, sadly. First leg here. Bayern v Real Madrid, 1-1. Barca v Inter. Could go either way here, really. It's a 1-0 on first leg. PSG v Liverpool. Can Liverpool do it? 1-1 first leg. Decent start in a Champions League quarterfinal yet again. Surely it can't be the same again, man. Surely you can't do it again. Surely not. Not another madness. 1-1. One, one. Spurs could be in a Champions League quarterfinal here, lads. Sorry, a semi-final. They could be in the they could be in the final again. Spurs could Spurs could do it. Spurs could be in a UCL final again. Here we go. Bayern Munich is the first team in the semi-final. Inter v Barca. Can Barca do it? 
And they have. Boss is in the semis. Liverpool v PSG. It's all in this game now. What PSG are the obvious favourites. I kind of want Liverpool to do it. Can Liverpool do it here? They can't. Hakimi with the goal. Bernat and Stadio Mane. PSG is in the semis. Oh, that's kind of predictable though. Okay, let's have Spurs in there. Let's have Spurs knock out City. Here we go. Come on. Come on. They've done it. Harry Kane in extra time. Tottenham Hotspur is in a Champions League semi-final. Please let them win the entire thing. Please, please, please let them win the entire thing here, man. Here we go. It will be Bayern Munich versus Barcelona and PSG versus Spurs. No. If Spurs was against Barca, you may have had a chance. You may have had a chance. But against PSG, surely not. You, no, do not annoy me. Do not do this to me. Don't have Spurs winning the Champions League. We can't be having this, man. First leg of the semi-final. Bayern Munich versus Barcelona. First leg will be another 1-1 draw. It's always a draw first leg, it feels like. I mean, PSG, they face United, knock them out. Face Liverpool, knock them out. And now it's the real serious task here, which is Spurs. Please, if there's a god. There's literally no way. There's no way. <sighs> god damn it, I thought there was a way. <laughs> Barcelona versus Bayern Munich. Here we go. In the final will be Bayern Munich will be in the final. Thomas Muller in the 90th minute on away goals. And they are in the final Bayern Munich here. I, I don't know why the away goals rule even counts because like that shouldn't be a thing. But I can't change the rules of FIFA. So it just is what it is, boys. If there's a god, make it 3 0 no Spurs. Make it 3 0. It's just not going to happen, is it? <sighs> Probably one of the most predictable finals of all time. Other than City v PSG, it's going to be Bayern Munich versus PSG. Of the ultimate Champions League, 64 teams. We're back to probably the most predictable final of all human history. What's their team's playing? Pavard right back, PSG. I and mean, it's the UCL final all over again back in 2020. I think they both got their four teams, no injuries really. Here we go. Quick sim. I would do the whole sim match, but I'll be honest. I'm not really too fussed about what who wins this game. It's going to be PSG, isn't it? It's going to be PSG. Here we go. Are you... That is the assassin... Kingsley Coleman scored and a 1-0 win? In the UCL final? Are you mad? Are you mad? No way that happened again. When did Coleman score in real? I swear it was like around the 60th minute as well. UCL final, 2020. What minute did Coleman score? The 59th minute. <laughs> what? Bayern Munich won 1 0 in the actual UCL final. Kingsley Coleman scored in the 59th minute in real life. And in my sim, Coleman scored in the 61st minute. What? Did they summon triple molting in real life? I mean, for PSG, they did. Yeah, for PSG. But in this save, he's playing for Bayern Munich. I'm stunned. I'm kind of stunned here, not going to lie. There you go. Of the ultimate UCL, it's Bayern Munich. I mean, talk about realism. Talk about, I, I, you know what? For me, the real winners are Spurs. You know, big up Spurs. Spurs are the real champions here. So there you go, boys. That is the ultimate 64 team UCL. Tell me down below what other videos you want me to do next. More simulations. And I'll see you guys next time. And stay safe.